Hey guys, here's something I just got done with. Um, sorry for the piss poor lighting. Uh, this is just what I have in my apartment right now. What you see in this dark, dark video is a Sansui 1000A. In fact, let's see if I can shed some more light on it just because it really kind of deserves light. That's a little better. The uh, 1000A was one of the most uh, powerful tube receivers that you could buy at the time. 40 watts per channel using uh, 7591As. Uh, this was actually, uh, I purchased this as kind of an as-is parts thing. And it turns out that the poor guy who owned it last spent hours and hours recapping the thing and uh, spending all of this detailing work uh, on the faceplate. I mean, the, I don't know how he got the faceplate to look this good. That's just the he uh, somehow managed to rebrush it and make it look really nice, and yet uh, the silk screening is untouched. So I, I'm wondering if that's just a fabrication he put together. But uh, anyway, he spent all this time on it, only to discover that one of the output transformers was open. So he blew about four hours, four or five hours with the recapping work on it, and uh, found out he had a dud. So uh, I got it and it's just been kind of sitting in storage for ages and recently somebody gave me a uh, Sansui 1000A parts unit which was an absolute total rust bucket but uh, had good output transformers so I stole an output transformer and installed it and then uh, I discovered that probably the reason why the output transformer died was because uh, there was a shorted output tube which uh, may have caused excessive current draw through the transformer and killed it. So, uh, I abandoned the 7591s, and uh, rather than being stuck between the choice of really expensive new old stock or uh, uh, cheap Russian knockoffs, I decided to use uh, a uh, KT-66 in place of the 7591s, which uh, is actually a 7581. And the KT-66s were a little more linear, uh, much warmer sound, much clearer sound in my opinion. And uh, all I did was uh, make a couple of changes to the feedback circuit, uh, rewired the sockets for the uh, different tube, obviously. And uh, it's a wonderful match. And uh, I finished the restoration. Uh, I replaced a bunch of tubes. Uh, I did a bunch of work. Uh, on the FM tuner, which was somebody had messed with all the uh, transformers using, um, the light goes out, it's ready. They apparently used a metal Allen wrench to turn the slugs in the tuner, and uh, a lot of the ferrite cores in the uh, uh, IF uh, transformers were just broken. So I had to harvest some of those of the parts unit too. But uh, the tuner, uh, actually works pretty well. Pretty good AFC. Nice lock. You can kind of really tune off station. And it will just kind of hold on to it. You turn the AFC off and it just it's normal again. It's surprisingly uh, sensitive. This is an LA station. Another LA station KPFK. And selectivity wise, it's okay. There's 92.3 in Los Angeles, which is a little noisy, next to 92.5. So, I mean, overall, it's, it's a pretty good receiver. Uh, I also. I had to modify the bias circuit for the KT-66 because they require more negative grid voltage. Uh, thankfully, the transformer comes out as uh, about minus 40, uh, it comes out to 45 volts AC, and uh, stock it comes with a half wave rectifier, which I converted to a full wave rectifier with uh, uh, 2200 microfarad capacitance instead of the uh, 50 that they were using with the half wave. Uh, also, uh, 
now that the power supply is much cleaner, the phono stage also shares that power supply, so the phono stage is quieter and less noisy as well. And before, you could turn it to phono and turn it up, and there would be this just obnoxious hum, but now all we hear is just hiss and a very tiny amount of hum. So this is a, a vast improvement. Um, but uh, this one will probably go up for sale on eBay. I actually already have one of these that I did a similar conversion on uh, that I used in my workroom for its audio. And uh, I use my uh, Scott LK72 for my main audio rig out here, so this really probably won't get much use. It's just going to kind of sit, and I'll maybe put it in and out of rotation, but uh, keep an eye out on eBay. I'll, of course, post the details and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's uh, one thing I've been working on the last couple of weeks. Very happy with the results. And uh, if somebody does end up owning it other than me, I'm sure they will enjoy it. So uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I plan to post as I get some time this weekend, and you may see a couple more things that uh, are in the works that uh, will get finished. So uh, I will post soon. Stay tuned. <laughs>